If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi friends, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see how to set up the monitoring environment for your scenario in controller. Apart from monitoring the response time, it is also important to monitor the resource utilization of your application host or your local host where the controller is running. Suppose if your CPU is exceeding the threshold of 80% uh, reach, then it might not be the valid test uh, to analyze your performance issues. So in order to get the right metrics, you need to monitor the uh, utilization such as CPU, memory, network, disk, etc. so that you can consider your test as a valid one. Now you can see I have created a, a sample uh, scenario in controller. So right now it is uh, injecting only one user for it will run for about five minutes. So just a basic schedule I have created and if you go to run tab, so these are the some of the uh, graphs available uh, for this particular uh, the previous run I have executed. But now we are going to see how to get the resource utilization of the application under test. So in the script, what I'm doing is I'm just hitting my local host, which is uh, in the IIS. So right now you can see if you scroll down towards the available graphs, uh, under the web server resource graphs, the Apache and uh, Microsoft IIS is uh, grayed out basically. Uh, it is not in blue color. So the color blue represents the data is available, but the color represents in black color, the data is not available. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the scenario and I'm going to click on monitor and here you will get an option called add measurements. So just click on it. And here you need to add your server machines. So in this case, uh, I'm using my, uh, uh, I'm hitting the uh, uh, sample application which is hosted in my la local laptop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uh, local host and the platform is Windows. Just click on OK. So once you click on OK based on the uh, platform and the uh, server, it automatically displays all the resource measurements on the particular local host. So if you keep scrolling down, you can see a lot of uh, parameters are available. If you want to add uh, additional parameters, what you can do is you have to click on the add button here. So this add button will display all the objects and based on your uh, needs, you can just select the appropriate uh, option. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select web service and here I'm going to select uh, say uh, bytes sent per second and uh, bytes total per second. If you just uh, hold your control key, you can uh, multi-select the options and click on add and hit on close. So once you hit close, it automatically these uh, those uh, parameters you have selected, it will automatically add it here. And if you just click on OK, it listed all the uh, measurements here. And you can just uh, plot your uh, graph by double clicking on it or you can just drag and drop here. So like this, you can keep on adding your measurements. Just click on add and add the machine name and uh, click on add here again. And here you can select, suppose if we are monitoring uh, .NET applications or ASP.NET or some browser, some cache. So we can just uh, select this and keep on adding those details. Okay, and hit okay. So it'll automatically pop up the uh, measurements here and you can just put it in the uh, available graphs. And once the execution is done, uh, you can plot. I also what I'll do is I'll, I'll stop it. So once the execution is completed, you can uh, see those uh, measurements in the uh, analysis. So go to results, analyze results. Okay, now the result has been generated. So what here we can do is you can just right click, add item, add a new graph. And here you can see your uh, web server resources, uh, Microsoft IIS. Just click on open graph. Okay, now hit close. So here you can see uh, the graph and the values here. So right now it is generating the data. So it is at 82%. So we have to wait 
till it uh, hits 100 percentage then only you can see all the uh, uh, metrics in the graphs so that's it guys from my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments uh, otherwise please feel free move to my next uh, lecture thanks for watching have a great day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel